This panel shares with us how to measure temperature by listening to crickets, and it works. It has been scientifically proven that there is a relationship between air temperature and the rate at which crickets chirp. They call it Dolbear's Law after the guy who came up with it in 1897, because there was nothing to do back then except listen to bugs. Crickets are called blooded. Their body temperature and metabolic rate are controlled by the environment. The chirping sound is produced by males rubbing their wings together to attract females, much easier than going to the gym. So when it gets warmer, their metabolism quickens and they chirp at a faster rate. By watching the snowy tree cricket, Dole Bear formulated his law, where the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to the number of chirps in 15 seconds plus 40. In Celsius, count the number of chirps in 8 seconds and add 5. Different cricket species, however, chirp at different rates, so it's not universal for all crickets everywhere. Everywhere. And for an accurate result, you need to somehow exclusively count the chirps made by a single cricket. But despite all of that, this law still gives remarkable results, as long as it's warm enough for crickets to be active. Dolbear's law is also sometimes cited to show how mathematical models break in reality. If we tinker with it to see how much crickets should be chirping around 1000 degrees Celsius, that would be around 116 chirps per second. But no cricket can survive that temperature, so in reality it's zero. 